Everyone hates successfully creating a new product design, only to have manufacturing and supply chain problems. I'm going to show you how the MechaFab platform solves these problems. You think you have communicated your design to a manufacturer, but the product you receive is not the product you designed. You now have a costly mistake on your hands. MechaFab helps avoid that mistake by providing visual confirmation of your design intent so you can be confident the product you designed is the product you received. Here's a common scenario. Your engineering team finishes a design, purchasing tells them a part is unavailable, then engineering has to go back and find a suitable replacement, and your product delivery is delayed. Microfab gives you transparent pricing with multiple lead time options, so you can make informed purchasing decisions. Now we realize, to meet the unique needs of your customers, your product might have complex designs or supply chain needs. To begin our walkthrough, we're going to create a new PCB. Here, you upload your design files. Once you upload your files, you'll see previews here and be able to make adjustments. You can toggle between the bottom and top view to see the different sides of your board. On my board, it looks like I have a file that did not get assigned, so I can come over here and make an adjustment and move it to the layer that it's supposed to be. Now that I've fixed my board, I can go into PCB specifications and add any custom specifications I need for my project. Macrofab makes it easy to invite other users into your organization to collaborate on a product order. Go into your organization, click the Invite User button, add their email, and an invitation will be sent. Next, let's go over to the Bill of Materials. Here, I have a Bill of Materials already created from my design file. If your design files did not include complete Bill of Materials data, you can upload one here with an Excel spreadsheet. Once your Bill of Materials is uploaded, you will be given live sourcing and pricing information for Macrofab's vendor integrations. You may have items that don't match parts in our vendor databases or lack availability. Macrofab highlights those parts and provides a few ways to get your product sourced. First, you can look for other parts matching your requirements and add them as alternates or replace your current items. Macrofab will automatically fill any unavailable parts with available alternates. Our live pricing and stock helps you avoid any issues scaling your production. You might also have a custom part that can't be found in Macrofab's database. We can work with you to source that part, or you can supply it yourself either through consignment or by storing inventory with Macrofab. First, I'm gonna define sourcing for the part that we couldn't find from one of the vendors. I'm gonna start by loading the default sourcing configuration. I'm gonna come down here to the part. I'm gonna assign it to myself for the sourcing. This will allow me to either supply it from my inventory that I have stored with Macrofab or from consignment once I've placed the board. I'm then gonna save this sourcing configuration as the new default. So the next time I place an order for this PCB, it remembers the sourcing configuration I've just set up. Now my product should be ready to order and I can change the lead time and quantity to meet my needs. If I have flexible lead times or quantities, I can use Macrofab's tools to make sure I get the best price. And with that, we're ready to place an order and have completed our walkthrough. If you enjoyed the walkthrough and want to learn more about Macrofab, first, you can create an account for Macrofab.com. If you're looking for more assistance, you can contact our sales team or on any page in the platform, you can reach out to our fantastic support team for help.